Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up quickly and get a lot of RP using these simple methods. Now as you guys may or may not be aware of Rockstar has actually released double money and triple money on a couple different adversary modes with some of them including the high setup missions as well as the finals. So before we actually get into all of that, let's just go ahead and get on with our daily shoutouts. We're just going to go to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have not subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next shoutout, all you got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment anything you want to down below. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you comment down, but as long as you do it, you get in the next shout out and it also helps with the video's ratings. So starting off with this, what you want to do is go into any GT Online session. After that, you want to press options and go to Online, go to Jobs, go to Play Jobs, go down to Rockstar Created, head down to see Find Anniversary Mode, and the one we're going to be looking for is the Hunting Pack Remix. So there is currently seven of them that you can choose from and it is currently three times money in RP you can see here on the top right corner. So of course you need three other players in order to do this. So what you can do is either go down to the comment section, comment down where you play on whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, comment down your gamer tag or what you can do, which is something that I always like to do is go back until the main one. You want to go over to jobs, quick jobs and then start up the adversary mode and then keep going until you eventually find the hunting pack remix. So I do have a good chance of making it just because of the fact that it is triple money in RP and there probably is a good amount of players trying to play it right now. So you see here, I already got a lobby just on my first go for three times money in RP. Looks like we have a couple people here. Now, once you get a decent amount of players or if the thing is full, go ahead and start it up. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. You can be attacker, a defender, or a runner. So the runner actually has a vehicle with a bomb on it where they're trying to go to a destination in order to get the bomb defused. And the attackers, of course, have to try to stop the vehicle and actually stop it long enough for the bomb to go off. And the defenders are just there to stop the attackers from trying to actually stop the entire runner. So this is a footage of me doing it. I went ahead and showed me as an attacker just because it may give you a little bit more insight of how this works. So there is the runner in this massive vehicle here. And you see here I'm trying to actually stop them, which they did stop for a good brief of time. Now, of course, they can reverse or drive forward in order to get the speed up to keep the bomb defused. So you see here, there you guys go, it's just going back. And of course the attackers are doing its best to try to stop us. It's not doing too well on their side, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the first round. Now we went ahead and actually won it, fortunately. For some reason I really don't understand how the RP works for it. We got 2,813 for that round. For some reason sometimes we get like lower or higher. And sometimes we get higher even if we lose the round. So I do not know how they actually do the RP or how it works. But there you go. We got a good hefty amount of RP just for that one round. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead cut to the very end of this entire adversary mode. That way you can see how much RP we got in total. But first let's go and talk to our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broken GTA and just wish you could go from this to that? without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million. That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5-star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. For the entire match, we did it. Sadly, lose it. So you see here, we did lose the match. Let's go and see how much RP we got for this as well as the enemy team. So we made 47,000 money, which is pretty decent. 
we got 5,252 RP, which is actually pretty good just for something that took us a minimum of 20 minutes to do. What you see here now is actually the screenshot of how much money in RP for the enemy team. So for the RP, they made 4,869 RP, but we were actually able to make more than them with it being 5,252. They did make $71,000 in cash, which is like double what we made. So like I said, I'm not sure how the RP works with it because they won more rounds and somehow we got more RP. So I don't know how it works, but there you go. That is it for this video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.